We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a complete transition here from the rip area to the dip area. And we talked about this on Friday. And the last time we've seen a dip area was way back here on the 17th. And we had two days back to back of rip area and we're going to break it down in today's video and in today's volatility our spy bot sent out a bear indicator at 10 30 a.m and from that moment forward the outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside full weakness there on 42 vision even the inflows try to pick back up and outflows continued throughout the day and put options went up 200 percent plus within hours guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks go up or they're going down so here we are with this spy trying to find support at 395 bouncing back up to 397 but it's broken through key resistance and support areas and we need to break it all down here what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and within the charts but before we do i want to share with you guys the home and opportunities that were mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the first home run was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bull indicator since 8 15 a.m sat sideways within the pre-market towards the bell and inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength there after the bell and call options went up a hundred percent plus within minutes guys and our second home run we caught this one in the pre-market tbla we caught this one sitting sideways pulling downwards we were looking for those inflows to pick back up they certainly did they stayed above towards the bell and after the bell full strength there on 42 vision and hit a highest point of 18 percent plus guys you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index hitting a dip area all day right why were fred borders since the pre-market towards the end of the day breaking through key support levels of 399 400 397 and it found support at a key level that i've talked about of 395 and if 395 got broken through the next level we were watching was 392 and 390 right which we're going to break down today's support levels here at these new levels and resistance levels to watch and what's going on within the volatility with our bull and bear indicators in the inflow versus outflow which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy under a bear indicator these outflows were very close i talked about that on friday they crossed and it's our first time back in a dip area since way back here on november 17th right it did a full transition towards the 18th of a rip area of bright green bars found support and continued two days consecutively last week in bright green bars with the bull indicator and the inflows crossing back up within that strength and i've broken this down if it's your first time here across the channel this is very important to understand that 42 vision allows us to see the rips from the dips and the dips to the rips and the bull and bear indicators are there as extra layers of confirmation of the strength or weakness in the charts and the inflow versus outflow where the movement lies right is there still strength there or are the outflows dominating creating weakness that is super important to understand here and you could see when these inflows cross back up and they continue the movement continues when they cross back down the movement continues and here we are from way up here at 402 
403 got retested and rejected a week later, guys. This is super important to realize. We talked about that all last week. If it rejected that, it could retest back down to the 400 or even below it. And we needed to see how it reacted between 395 and 400. And here we are. Outflows are currently dominating on the 30 minute. On the 15 minute, same thing. All day dominating. They were below already. I talked about how we needed to see this come back up. If not, there could be weakness in the chart. And then on the 30 minute, it was really, really close. And if it crossed, followed by a bear indicator, we would see weakness in the charts. And we needed to watch those support levels very carefully of 397, 400, 395, right? And here we are trying to fight to hold it up. And we also have the one hour here that was in a position of the outflows not crossing just yet, but getting really close and they've crossed guys. And we're at outflows of minus negative 5.33. This is the most outflows that we've seen since way back here in November 9th, where it hit a dip area before it bounced again. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the key levels I'm watching here and what to watch going into tomorrow. So the first thing here is support levels. Let's talk about the downside here. 395 is the first support to watch. Below that is 392. And if that gets broken through all the way down here at 390, right? And if 390 gets broken through, that's going to be a pivotal area of support in the history of this big bounce here of November 9th to the 10th. And since then, it's been bouncing around above that area. And it found support there back on the 17th, which is where the last dip area happened. And if we break through that, the next support will be way back down here towards 382 to 385, guys. That's going to be a pivotal area to watch. Now, we're currently sitting at 396, trying to come back up on the 30 minute and inflows are trying to pick back up but we're still below the midpoint. I'm gonna be watching if these inflows could cross back over, it could start reflecting into the chart, and we want this bear indicator to get canceled in the process, and not just on the 30 minute, but also here for this strength to go into the 15 minute and cancel this bear indicator and cross back up as it's pretty close there to the midpoint, but still below it, right? Now, if all of that does happen, the resistance level that I'm watching is 399 above that is 402 guys where that bear indicator literally popped up and some of the areas that we need to watch carefully is right there above 400 i think 400 is a psychological level for the bulls and the bears as long as we're above it bulls are putting up a fight the moment we're below it the bears are starting to put up a fight so i think it's super important to keep that in mind what is going on within that narrow stretch of 400, 401 towards 402 if we start staircasing to the upside, right? So it's gonna be important first, 399, 400, then 402. And then I'm gonna be watching if the 30 minute and 15 minute can bring in that strength, how it will impact the one hour as right now, the outflows are at some of its highest points since November 9th when it was down at negative six, right? And right now we're at negative, 5.33 so based off the history of the chart it has room to go lower doesn't mean it has to or guarantee it will but something to not overlook and if it starts coming back up we want to see this change from red to green and even though it doesn't come all the way back up and cross the midpoint we want it to start bringing itself back up get out of this dip area go back into red bars with green borders then dark green continue that staircase effect get to those resistance levels and eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a bull indicator guys i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money